Well, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Oh, these are dirty. They're filthy. Filthy, 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 full of grubby fingerprints. Because my four-year-old was playing with them. There we go. I can see now. So we're doing delivery today in the straight truck. We already have one done. We're going to go back to the warehouse now, load up some more. And then I know there's an empty can, but that's being loaded up for delivery. So we're doing my most favorite thing in the world today. Delivery is in the straight truck. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Bliss. Bliss. Anyway, I'd rather do cans. Bit of an update, as you probably next today is the day my sabotage video aired. Um, but you're obviously watching this one week later. Uh, thanks for all the support, except of course Billy, who unsubscribed, but oh well. Haters gotta hate. Anyway, um, bit of an update there. Um, contact my friend at the flatbed company and he's gonna vouch for me. And of course I have to warn the operations there exactly what my present employer is gonna say and why he's saying it. I'll probably get it. There's a good chance I'll probably get it. I hope so. And he's still gonna kibosh me though, but hopefully the counter kibosh works. But you probably will. But Montreal, Texas run, that is intriguing because I know they have a yard down in Laredo. So I'll probably be going down to Laredo a lot. That would be awesome. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. We'll stand by. Alright. So we're done our delivery. And there's more, because there's still more crates in the straight truck. Oh, well, crates aren't bad. They just don't have to exchange pallets. Still, I'd rather not be doing deliveries. He said that, oh, you have lots of deliveries today. That means lots of cans tonight. That means I'm not gonna get done until probably one, two o'clock in the morning by the time I finally get done and get home. Joy old bliss. Joy. Oh, bliss. Oh, I'm looking so forward to this. Oh. Well, I made pot roast yesterday and I didn't eat any of it. I got home so late. Well, my whole one meal a day thing. I had a shake when I got home and come home from work and the whole place smelled like pot roast. It's like, oh, it smells good. So I fed my boys and then I put some aside for my lunch and I have to air up my trailer right now because it has no air in it. And I put some of my lunch for myself, my wife, and it's in the fridge uh, at the warehouse. So I'm going to go home, go home, go back to the warehouse and eat that because it's like quarter to 11 right now, quarter to 11, quarter to 12 right now. 11.30, 11.45, so by the time I get back to the warehouse and I put the can along the walls, because I'm probably going to have to return this later, it should be lunchtime. So stand by! Anyway, we are in St. Anne de Bellevue, which is as far as West Island you can get, but then still beyond the island. St. Anne de Bellevue. I'd love to live in this area. It's more rural, but yet you're still in the city of Montreal. But it's just, um, been nice out here. Really nice out here. And oh, please let the deliveries be over. Let's start doing cans, make some real money. But I know that he was loading uh, the container that I went to Helix with, with more deliveries. So, unfortunately, the shitstorm continues with deliveries. And, uh, Heading back to the warehouse now to um, do more bullshit deliveries. Stand by. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, I'm gonna go wait in my truck. Sneaky. <laughs> I had to get that one sneakily. Ugh. Wow, this place was not easy to get into, and there's. And these kids are not even at this warehouse. It's two, two doors down. Way, 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 way down the street. Right over there. 
right where that guy's walking. But to get in, I tried to nose up here and do it on the sighted side, but all these cars here are in the way. So at the end of the block, there's a, there's a fruit distribution coming up there. Spun around, nosed up over there, and blindsided. I could have done it like straight side if this Honda van wasn't here. I could have done it because it was in the way. Made it quite difficult. Made it difficult. So then I like went to do a recce to recon the uh, place where the warehouse uh, for the empty pallets are. Wow, it's it tight. Tighter than this place. I was like, oh no, I can't get in there. It's an inside warehouse and there's cars on the street. I was like, there's no way. I could do it, but it's going to take me a long, long time. So, Herbie's in the area. So he's going to come with the cube truck. So I sent him the address and uh, he's going to come with the cube truck. So he can just whip on in there, pick up the skids and whip on out again. Won't take that long for him to get in and out. Won't take that long at all. Be faster. By the time he comes in and out, I'll still be trying to back in. So, stand by. All right, well, that's it for the day. Um, just did two containers, two returns, two pickups to CN. That brings the total count to nine for the week so far, and it's only Wednesday. So, so far, pretty good week. Uh, another pickup tomorrow. I know for sure there's another pickup at CN tomorrow. And... Probably another day of deliveries, because I know that's the first thing in the morning I'm doing is doing deliveries, and at least another can to pick up at CN before noon. So thanks for watching. Remember hit that like button, the share button, and the all-important subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow.